Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's still February 19th, and uh, I think I'm back to uh, a little emotional stability here. Uh, I haven't put up that video on that, that whole spiritual thing about what happened on Saturday with Donald and Melania Trump yet. I, I'm, I'm actually doing this video as I'm editing that. Uh, we, we all should know if we don't about the two Russian pranksters who called John McCain uh, pretending that they were uh, the Ukrainian Prime Minister. And I'm not very good with uh, Slavic names or Russian, but apparently his name is Volodymyr Groisman of Ukraine. And the two comedians that called uh, are Vovan and Lexus. Uh, Vladimir Kuznetsov and Lexus is Alexei Stolarov. Anyway, they made a call acting as this Ukrainian Prime Minister about what McCain was going to do uh, with this whole problem with, with Trump. And if they would get, if, if McCain would be successful in getting Trump to, you know, fight the Russians to, to send arms, weapons to the Ukrainians. Maybe I should just read this. Okay, some of you will recognize from where it comes from, but that's okay. In the annals of phone pranks, the, the antics of a pair of Russian comedians, Vladimir Kuznetsov and Alexei St Stolyarov, sorry about that, may rank as simultaneously the most hilarious, disturbing, cringeworthy, and revealing of how stupid, contemptible, and dangerous are some of the U.S. elected officials. Last week, Vovin Alexis successfully placed three lengthy phone calls with Senator John McCain, Senator Lindsey Graham, and Representative Maxine Waters, pretending to be Prime Minister Volodymyr Gro Groisman of Ukraine. The calls to Maxine Waters the call to Maxine Waters has since been verified as authentic by Russia today. The pranksters carried out detailed discussions about the future of U.S. NATO sanctions against Russia, Russia and convinced Waters that the Russian army had invaded the Ukrainian cities of Lvov and Limpopo, as well as, African, as the African nation Gabon. After greeting Prankster Volvin, hello, Mr. Prime Minister, how are you? Senator McCain was quick to launch into how he would urge President Trump to send lethal weapons to Ukraine to fight the Russians and to increase the current sanctions against Russia. What is he, an arms dealer? This would be funny if it were just a joke, but the evidence produced by these pranks reveals how McCain, Graham, and Waters are mobbed up warmongers set upon undermining President Donald Trump's attempts to make peace with Russia violently in the case of McCain. And the news media avoids this. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure, but I think there were several laws violated here. And I would urge the Department of Justice, our Attorney General Sessions, and whoever else President Trump and Sessions decide to put on this to go after McCain, Graham, and Waters and prosecute them if it's possible under the full extent of the law. The least that should happen here, the least, when you have these people trying to undermine the foreign policy abilities of the President of the United States, the least it should be is censorship in the Senate and in the House of Representatives, at the least. But I think that there are probably crimes here. John McCain, you know, I don't even talk to Lindsey Graham because I consider him a little pussyfoot. Waters, she's too damn stupid to even t waste my time. Anybody that looks at her and believes a word she says needs to be in an insane asylum. But McCain, you're not just wicked. If you know the difference of what I'm going to say here, you're not just wicked. You are evil. Evil. Better get on the right track, McCain. You know what? I don't, you know, people try to make excuses for you. You know, that 
you, you suffered some mental trauma. Well, then, if that's true, if that is true, you don't you don't have any right to be in the Senate, except the vote, of course. <laughs> and the people of Arizona are so stupid to keep putting you in there. And, and they probably aren't. You're probably stealing the election because you're a friend of Hillary's. So I just wanted to bring this up. It's a major, major problem. It is probably unlawful, but at the very least, it's immoral. And it's out of place for McCain and Graham and Waters to be doing this. And action needs to be taken against them. If it's criminal, I would suggest to President Trump and Attorney General Sessions that they do that. And again, damn the torpedoes, pardon me, I burped. <laughs> damn the torpedoes that are going to be launched at you for doing this. These people are out of control. And you damned, <laughs> let's see, what's the word? Fake news media powered by underlings and moles and rogues in the State Department through and by the CIA. You guys just keep showing that you're an enemy, not of Donald Trump, mind you, but of the American people and, and everyone in the world trying to lift ourselves up to a new level of godliness. And it's, it's hard enough, but when you evil Jezebels and Ahabs get in here, whoa, it's almost an impossibility. You're, you're evil, McCain. You are evil. And again, you need to be disciplined by the law as a criminal if possible, but at the very least by some type of censorship. You know, the legal censorship they do in the Senate. I'm not talking about through the MSM. Out here.